Okay, you ready for today? Yep, I am. Let me grab my coffee or am I allowed to have coffee? No, throw, that, throw it in the sink. I'm not throwing my coffee in the sink. I would throw it in the, the sink, because here, check this out. Today, we're, we're in... she doesn't know what we're doing. Oh yeah, shout out. Yeah, shout out to our new shirts. Um, We're gonna go check out Claremont, Leesburg, and Mount Dora. Give you guys a good sense of the areas. What we've had is a lot of people reach out. Some people know exactly what area, maybe exactly what community they wanna be in, but it seems like a lot of people are still at the, the phase where they know they wanna be in this area, but they're not, they don't know the specific area. So we're gonna kinda of break those down. This may have to be a, a multiple part video. Um, that sounds cool. That because sounds if funny. we're gonna dive in. So much to explore. There's a lot to explore, but we'll dive into these areas. It'll be a fun video and we'll get key features. Really, we'll just try to get a sense of the area. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of stuff, but I where should it. we start? Let's start in Claremont. Well, that makes sense, right? Yes, especially since I didn't realize we were doing these. Because <laughs> this might take a while and I only have a few hours, but let's spoil everybody by showing them Claremont. So I think where we should start. The bike trail. Well, I was thinking maybe grab a coffee at Epic. Perfect. And I love it. At Epic, we'll talk about. I will dump my coffee down the sink yeah. for a coffee at Epic. <laughs> okay. And then at Epic, we can talk about um, every single. Let's list off every single community. We'll put a map up. We'll list off every single community in Claremont. The cool thing about Claremont is everything's within a mile or two radius, yeah. right? You got Home Depot, Hobby Lobby. Everybody loves Dick's Sporting Goods. You know, all of those. I mean, we could literally we'll do, do the a, shopping centers that have. We could, we could do, do that. we could do, we could do the 50, 27 and just point out, and it's all within this two mile radius and you've got everything. Oh okay. yeah, for sure. Let's do it. And then tonight we're going to take him for his birthday dinner. So maybe we'll have to just show you Southern Grill. Come on. We can't work nah. on our birthday dinner. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we could show him Southern Grill beforehand. <laughs> um, all right, let's go grab a coffee. All right. So this is, this is my mom's office. And then she's got two little rental units here in Claremont. So if you guys are planning to come and these are available, you can uh, check them out at ClaremontCabanas.com or you can just email us. And this is a good like central location if you wanna check out the Claremont Leesburg Mount Dora area. Ding! Plug. All right, so my name is Jay Michael. This is Nikki. We're Explore 55 Plus, and today we're checking out Claremont, Florida, the area. We're gonna explore Claremont, Florida. Awesome. So I'm gonna pull up a map. Let's go over every single 55 plus community in Claremont. All right. <clears throat> every this, single one of them. So that includes south down to Palms of Saranoa that's in Claremont, but it's almost And then northern Kissimmee. Claremont. Where should we put Trilogy? Mm, I put Trilogy in Claremont. Even though it has a Groveland address, it's really five well, miles from... It's the only 55 plus community in Groveland, so it's either yeah. like, let's put it in Claremont or Leesburg. It's in between. Claremont. But it's closer to Claremont. Much cool. closer to Claremont. All right, so let me pull up a map. Claremont, you've got Palms of Saranoa, which also is a new built community. And then you've got, in, in Claremont, you've got Kings Ridge, Heritage Hills, Summit Greens, Esplanade and Trilogy Orlando. So variety of uh, size communities from 450 homes, 750 homes, 2,800 homes, 1,400 homes. So good, good, good variation. Yep. Uh, who's got new builds still? Esplanade, and by the way, they just released 10 lots. Chop chop. And then Palms of Saranoa. Okay. And Trilogy, Trilogy has is done. They Three have more like models left. That's about it. I think. Yeah, models left. This yeah. this video is gonna come out too late. Yes, maybe. So if you are interested in Claremont, one of these 55 plus communities, all of them are pretty competitive. What would be a good budget if you wanted to get into a 55 plus community in Claremont? So that has changed in the last year. So I would say 250 to 350, and you can get a very nice home. Okay. What's the high end? Five or six hundred. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know hospitals are a big one, so we'll go over that. The, or the big hospital is Orlando uh, 
Orlando Health South Lake Hospital, mm -hmm. which is right next to the NTC. Yes. And that's that's newer, and it's almost like a medical row. So in that particular area, you've got the South Lake oh. Air Hospital. It's fairly new, and they've got a new cancer center and new doctor's offices and specialty doctors. So that whole area is up and coming. They keep adding more stuff. So you got plenty of medical care. And yeah. urgent cares are popping up everywhere. That's the thing. So they're, they're all over the place. So it's interesting because Highway 50 goes all the way to Tampa. I-75, and it goes all the way through Orlando. So it's a pretty traveled road with lots of stuff. And when you're in, you know, off of downtown, it's, you know, they've got a few restaurants and things, but as you go towards Orlando, you've got all your big box stores and some restaurants and banks and all of that stuff. But Dick's Sporting Goods, Hobby Lobby, those were added within the last five years. Lowe's. Lowe's, Home Depot, of course. Then you've got, um, we had a Lucky's Market. We're hoping for something similar. It's like a Whole Foods. We don't have that yet. We're working on that. You can get to Costco, though, pretty easy just off of the, the turnpike. 27. Runs north and south. North and south. You have, that's almost like Restaurant Row, right? They've got the Epic Theaters. They've got... All the restaurants, all the big box restaurants, you know, Texas Roadhouse, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, all of those. A few mom and pops, but really Claremont could use some more mom and pops. We've just got a handful. Well, downtown that, is great. Yeah, and that's where downtown kind of comes in, which yes. is off of 50. It's um, on the western side of 50, kind of coming closer to Groveland. And this is kind of that gap that this is going to fill. This is much more mom and pop. Uh, their microbreweries are popping up, things like that. We'll mm -hmm. show you guys more down here. The other place that I want to hit is um, we got to show off some of the lakes. The other place I want to hit is that that little tiki bar. The tiki bar. Yummy. Yeah. Well, not the tiki bar. Uh, I want to oh, hit that one. Oh, Cove, uh, Cypress Cove yeah. Marina. I haven't been there yet. Let's go check it nice. out. Nice. We're going to definitely check that out. Because that's also a place that you can get short-term rentals, and they're just cute little rentals. So. Well, and this is, it's downtown Claremont's a great little location. So. It is. So the downtown itself has a lot of boutique stores, these great marketplaces now that you can get poke bowls and barbecue and crepes and and drinks. And it's we're in the entertainment district so you can actually take your cocktail and wander around and I don't know if you can see this lakefront but we'll definitely show you some footage it's phenomenal did you know they're doing um, meet in the middle they're gonna start to revamp this park a little bit because we are Ooh. on the coast to coast bicycle Grab this trail guy. look at that guy <laughs> he's zooming <laughs> <laughs> but this coast to coast bike trail actually goes from Titusville to St. Petersburg, and we're in the middle. So they, the city actually markets to people training on, on bicycles and stuff. We have triathlons. You can swim this lake. It's very clean. The water's actually almost drinkable, one uh, environmentalist told me, and that's why they do all the swimming. Out. Well, I'm not sure about that. Oh, that's a good one. Actually, that tastes better than the damn tap water. Darn tap water, honey. Darn tap water. <laughs> um. So also on 27, you've got the, um, the Claremont Rec and Art Center. So they have actually indoor pickleball courts. We need some outdoor pickleball courts, folks, if anybody on the city's listening to this. <laughs> but they have indoor pickleball courts. And of course, all your communities have pickleball courts. Uh, but they have a swimming pool. They have exercise programs. They have senior programs and things like that. J. Michael, the coolest thing is a lot of our customers that come here, because Claremont is so booming and such a cool place that they're kids are moving here. They're getting jobs at the hospital, they're getting jobs in Orlando, and this is a great place to live if you're commuting to Orlando. They're working at Disney, and so the parents are following them, and then so we have a lot of folks living here and, for that reason. Yeah. So the cool thing about Claremont, too, is they host a lot of events. Downtown. This 
downtown and then this lakefront. This lakefront, they've got uh, event areas where they have pig on the pond, they have fairs, they have jazz festivals, they have all kinds of stuff here, as well as those triathlons and all of that stuff that they host. <coughs> downtown, Friday night food truck, they have Oktoberfest, Spring Fest, farmers markets. farmers markets, just a boatload going on. Cool. Yes. Okay, so the Olympus development, I want to talk about this next, is a new development that's coming in South Claremont. It kind of butts up against the western entrance of Disney, um, and that's really going to cater to athletes. So they're calling it Wellness Way. There's some residential going in, but it seems like the main focus is um, sports, activity fields, a big attractive part about Claremont is the rolling hills, this trail, oh, the yeah. NTC. We've attracted a lot of athletes that come here, a lot of like Olympic athletes come here and train to run, uh, things like that. And so just geo Internationally too. Internationally yeah, a lot of, of different racing cyclists, teams. And, and we have the rowing, the boathouse that does rowing. It's just super cool and that's the whole sort of unique marketing of Claremont is it's for fitness and what's our tagline again it's a city of champions so it's it's literally catering to that cool. and with that folks if you do have young folks that are looking for a cool place to move and live you know that's something too because with it with the growth there are probably plenty of job opportunities cool so um, so we were just corrected by Justin the photographer videographer extraordinaire it's actually choice of champions not city of champions so claremont the choice of champions okay so geographically uh if you had to describe claremont now this whole central florida area is littered with lakes but definitely we have a great chain of lakes here one of the cool things about this chain of lakes is we have restaurants on it the only other chain of lakes that i know of that has restaurants that are accessible by boat is the harris chain which we'll talk about when we head up to leesburg yep there's a ton of pro wakeboarders, things like that live on the lakes because of the depth and the cleanliness of it. And then the other thing that Claremont is known for is these rolling hills. So again, I think that's why we attract a lot of cyclists, but really nowhere, no other place in Florida has wow. sort of these, these el big elevation changes. Actually, fun fact, we have the tallest mountain in Florida. Sugarloaf. Yes, I guessed it. Was it Sugarloaf yeah, Sugar Mountain? Loaf. One thing we didn't mention, all right, so we have Lake Sumter State College. It recently changed from a community college. Um, that's over near the NTC. Mm -hmm. And then you mm -hmm. said something about the library, right? The Cooper Memorial Library is a huge library, and they do a lot of senior classes for free. Bang. Boom. <laughs> so what's your favorite part about Claremont? My favorite part is that I live up the road from my mom. Aw, that's my favorite part, too. Anyway, what is your, what is your favorite part? Because we moved here and you were 14 years old from Colorado, and you you once told me that you were really glad because you loved the lakes. Is that your favorite part? I'm guessing. I would I would say the lakes. I, I mean, I just love the weather here in general. But I think like the quintessential Claremont lifestyle for me would just be being on a boat on the lakes. I think that's really cool, but that's pretty expensive. What's my, your favorite part? My favorite part, I think, literally is the the hills, the weather for sure, but the hills and the palm trees and the water. Yes. Yeah, the humidity. Yes, I have to say I like it. I do. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is uh, and you can kind of pan around and check this out, but this is um, Lake Mineola. So this is Lily's on the Lake. This is a pretty cool little spot. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The location is incredible. The weekend, you'll see boats lined up here hanging out. The, the, the food and service is like... Hit and miss. It's hit and miss a little bit, and it's kind of a bummer. They were kind of here early, and it's just like they, they kind of get off the location. Now, if you do want to get on the water, we have Tiki Bar across the way that the food's better, service is better. And they've been here forever. They've been here forever. Sorry, Lilies. You know, we're here to be honest. Yeah, so this is the beautiful lake. Got some gentlemen fishing at the end here. Fishing is good, is big here too, by the way. And you know, a lot of our customers love to fish. And the Lake Harris chain, when we get to Leesburg, they have bass fishing tournaments. But I see fishing here all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this, this chain connects to a bunch of different 
lakes. So this is kind of cool too. They're adding pavers through all of these roads. So we'll see some construction up here, but they've done quite a few now and they're just trying to cover the entire downtown area. They've really, it, they actually have it online. It's called the master plan. So if you Google Claremont's master plan, you can see what they're planning. We might be stopping here at the Sun Creek Brewery. Delicious, savory's fantastic. Yeah, so it's kind of a marketplace. They have a few different restaurants in there, coal-fired pizza, um, and then they brew all their own beers, things like that. And then right next door is Pepe's Cantino, which is a, a Mexican restaurant. Yep, delicious. Pretty good. This is all just within the last year, folks. It's booming, right? The Sun Creek Brewery was first. That might have been two years ago, because time flies. Fantastic. <laughs> what? Look, Justin, it's your crowd right here. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. Sometimes they come in, down in little in, cars. Hop in, hop in the back of their little duckling. This is the art walk, and uh, they haven't rented very many, but we've got Twisted Sugar coming. Yeah, they just opened this stuff up, so all this is going to be leased out to new stuff. Here we go. This is kind of cool. It's, it's Twisted cookies. Sugar was my nickname in the third grade. It's cookies. Mmm, coconut cream. Give us a good flap. <laughs> Give us a good flap. <laughs> <laughs> When did you, when did you, oh my God. When we all get those wings when we get older. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Give us a good flap. <laughs> so, so this is Montrose, which is actually the main street. And this is the street that they, they uh, close up for farmer's markets, food truck nights, and all of that fun stuff. The courthouse is on up. There's a big green space where they have music and entertainment. Jay Michaels and I love this Cheesers restaurant, which is a breakfast great restaurant. Great breakfast place. Yeah, oh, great so place good. up there. Well, Corelli's is fantastic Italian, and that's a mom and pop. That's They've got another spot. location. Great pizza. Fantastic. You can tell we mostly eat and not shop. And that might be my <laughs> fault. <laughs> I want to chop. I want. To, have you done this, Jay Michael? The yeah, bread it's burger. Yeah, really good. Mmm. I need to try that. And then I want to try downstairs too. They have a bar downstairs, right? Yeah. So that, that's a cool that's a cool little market spot. They've got, you know, places to sit, have a beer, drinks, donuts, empanadas, crepes, coffee upstairs, they got a sushi place. They have uh, tables burgers. out back here too, so if you don't want to sit inside, they still have room, and then out on the main street yep. too. This is where I'm going tonight for my birthday. Yes, it is. Birthday dinner. They have, um, it's it's southern style. It's like a high-end restaurant. They've got really good craft cocktails. What are some of the dishes? Like they've got some shrimp really- Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits, fried chicken. They've, they've kind of taken uh, southern food and done it sort of artisan style. It's, it's pretty delicious. The, the Claremont, Claremont Brewing Company. Brewing Company. So another microbrewery, and then inside they have food, pizza, sushi, um, mm -hmm. things like that. And outdoor they have area too. Again, an outdoor area. Cool, cool outdoor. They have a um, every Monday they have a cornhole tournament competition. Yeah, we've got live music there. Like live, the time live too. music, tons of live music. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool little spot. Downtown Claremont has been just become super cool, and it's literally been in the last two or three years. Yep. We get so much more activity down here. It's just marvelous. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us, uh, checking out Claremont. So next, we'll be headed up to Leesburg and Mount Dora. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I haven't said that before. This is the first time we've told people to subscribe. Oh, then you get all our videos know. that just pop to you. Yeah, uh, people don't know that. I guess. Hit the subscribe button, you guys. <laughs> See We're you gonna, soon. Hey, 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 hey. And if you guys want, go check us out on Facebook. We have not posted anything, but we're putting together a plan to start using that. So we'll be putting together some cool short content on Facebook, Explore 55 Plus. Maybe I'll link it in the description. And then as always, if you guys want to get connected with an expert in the 55 Plus communities, uh, you can visit the link in the description, explore55plus.com. Are you going to start putting reviews? Because we've had phenomenal reviews from folks that have used our team.
We should put that out there. Well, let, what we should do, we, we, this needs to be a video. We should go and just chat with them all. All right, we've got a few appointments already. I know somebody wants to play pickleball. We have a design meeting with somebody that all, they all want to meet J. Michael. He's the star. No, take that out. Yeah, I'm not the star, you're the star. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and always feel free to call, text, uh, email us anytime, put the information there. Um, and again, visit the website. Anything else? Nope, talk soon. Bye.